right, so we're going to do a test game here and just test out all the audio and quality here. See how this works. Uh, I'm going to be playing a unusual uh, Hoth deck against what looks to be 12 card CCT maybe. Oh, no, Jabba's Prize, any methods deck. Okay. So he's going to start uh, Despair, take IG-88, probably. And uh, the Jabba's Palace Dungeon into hand. I'm going to start the main power generators in the fourth marker. And we're going to start a new secret base. Uh, Walkling and maneuvering flaps virtual. See if we can match for some speeders and guys and fun stuff. Of course, you always want to wish your opponent good luck. Just good sportsmanship. He's going to pull a shield. I always get the grabber. He wants to get battle order. Okay. Guess he wants to make sure this game goes nice and slow. Uh, so we got we got corn horn po dameron bach the tank they're tracking us hujix combo zev rogue one add a commission combo be a few things here that i don't need that aren't going to come into play too much he's going to get his grabber see. Yeah, he took IG in the prison. Okay, that's what we thought. So he's going to play Despair. Deploy on table, plus one going after Jabba's prize. So Corn Horn would cost me one more. It's tempting to try and go off script a little bit. Just corn horn though. That will make it tricky. Uh, he deploys I am your father. Okay, so now we're expecting uh, Lord Vader or uh, the new Vader. And one of the two possibilities I would expect. Objective and go look for the audience chamber. And we'll see what else he wants to do here. Just gonna draw. So either he saw when he looked in his reserve deck that something that he wants is in this force pile, and didn't want to risk deploying IG and using that force, uh, or he just wants to have uh, several more cards in hand and doesn't want to have a, a weak hand. So it's tempting here. Just against an IG deck, they're really reliant on having those cards. If you get the opening hand, corn horns. Just go down, free him, and I've got the Hujix, so it's uh, pretty ideal for me. Uh, if, see, I was talking, I wasn't paying attention, and I screwed that up. to go look for cards first. I have to get my war room and echo base. 
Chase Garrison. So he's got interior sights. I don't really like that. There's not much I can do about that. That card is not immune to all terror. It would not surprise me to find him floating an altar or some senses in a deck like this. We're going to pass through these phases, though. Get the war room out. Get the Echo Base Garrison out, and we'll go look and see what's in our reserve deck. So I can get Luke or Wedge. Ooh, they're all in there. Uh, my other systems are in there. I can get those later. Haven is in there. I could pull with Wackling if I wanted. I could match Zev Baroque 2. I can take Wedge and match for Rogue 3. Uh, I do run two Lukes, so my instinct here is to get Wedge. Actually, we're going to take a loop because then I can match for something else next turn. I don't know. I'm just kind of pulling them all in the next two to three turns anyway, so it's not a super huge deal. Um, but yeah, we're going to risk this. I think this just works out better. is a little risky just looking at that because it's going to cost me three to release him that's going to be all my force luckily I mean I got the ideal cards in my opening hand uh, we're going to go with no on that because the only Han I play is Han Chewy Falcon that can't go to that location. I don't want him to verify my deck. So we will pass deploy battle move. So he's got 12 cards and 11 force with which to hurt me with. Not great, especially when we see this out. That could be a Vader. Um, like I said, though, I do have the Hujix, so that was the motivation behind it. And even if he does play something like uh, First Strike, I also happen to have their tracking us, which will let me activate a force. So I have the force to play the Hujix. That's that's just dumb luck. I mean, there's, you know, we got one of each or so in the deck. All right, so there's the prince. He requires me to have six ability, so that's gonna suck. No battle destiny for me. And Guri's just gonna add more power. Undercover spy, uh, bounty hunter, or spy. Which those guys are. So it's 11 to 2. <laughs> but that was his whole turn. Wow. Blind draws a 7. I was hoping maybe I wouldn't have to use Hujix if he drew low and I could subtract one with the third tracking us. But if he's going to do that, 
it doesn't really leave me with a choice other than forfeit corn and hujix. He's probably mad right now. But to be fair, I mean, if I'm just going to recklessly throw corn horn down like that, you'd have to assume I got to have something, right? All right? We'll do this right. We'll get our cards before we activate. Uh, I'm going to grab Dagobah here. Uh, we'll activate. go fish out a card with Echo Base Garrison. So Luke and Wedge are both still in there. Uh, Wedge's speeder's in there. My Yoda's hut is not, so I will not put Dagobah down this turn. Um, we'll take Wedge and probably match Wedge for his speeder to the fourth marker. Pass. And the problem with playing guys like this and they're matching speeders when I don't know what Vader he's using is unfortunately the new Vader cancels the game text of weak, uh, low ability characters. So he could cancel Wedge's game text. I would not have the three to power. I would not have the ability to draw a battle destiny or any of that fun stuff. But what we are going to do, this thing is maneuver six. It's great little features on Jemp. Love just quick looking at all this stuff here. I feel pretty good about that. I'm going to put Poe in there as a pilot as well. We'll use up most of our force, but again, not in any rush. So now we got nine power. Two battle destiny, immune to less than six from Echo Base Garrison. I feel like that's going to be pretty solid for a while. He's going to have, you know, Vaders and Mauls, won't be able to hit. Uh, probably a Dengar P59 floating around in there to shoot at my speeder. I'm a six maneuver. And I've got that they're tracking us, so it'll be a little harder for him to hit. So I feel pretty good about that. Then you've got Luke and Speeder for backup, or Zev and his Speeder for backup. I'll get a Bacta tank out soon as well. Not real sure what he's going to do here. He may just end up moving over to the carbonate chamber. Alright, so he's going to try to deploy an alien. Let's see which alien he gets. Four. Doctor E. That's a good pick. He sees the speeder. She knows I'm not really likely to go indoors. So that's a safe play. Dr. E and then Ig. And then will he move? Or does he want to draw? So he's got two battleground sites, 
both are drains of one. And he played battle order, so he's going to have to spend six to drain for one and one. Whereas I'm just paying three to drain for two. So I seem to come out ahead on that deal. system out. Find out if that was Yoda's hut. Nope, Yoda's hut's still in there. Hopefully it'll still be there when I activate. Typically what you see from this style of deck would be a couple of smaller ships. Maul's Infiltrator, Zakist and Mist Hunter, maybe an Emperor Shuttle some type of Boba Fett package, so he's got a couple of ships, but not being able to fish them out of his deck because of me getting lucky with the corn horn. Fish out of the card, Yoda's hut is still in there. I go ahead and grab excuse me. activate. I am going to pay to drain for two. Paying three to drain for two. Usually a decent value there. Especially because I'm also not planning on really spending force this turn. So I don't really need to do that. And I'm not going to be able to contest his two interior drains anytime soon. Even if I had a projection, I still can't use it on the Cloud City site. So what we're just going to look at doing here is just see what he does. So he loses a Cold Feet and an Evader Monarch combo. Always happy about those two. They came from hand. We're going to end up giving him a couple more force here, but. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to play the other system yet. I don't need it, I don't have anything to put at it. tank down now and we'll just draw a couple so now I feel pretty confident wedge isn't going anywhere so the speeder is going to be here for a little while as much as I didn't like giving him the two force from Dagobah I get four for myself, which is always a bonus. There's a good money card. So now I'm not even at all scared. Uh, possibilities. Yeah, I need this card. It's my 3PO puller. That's exciting. So one of the excellent things to do with a deck like this is I can get some free card advantage every turn because I play two copies of Luke and Echo Base Garrison lets me take them into hand every turn. I can essentially just use 3PO to keep putting a Luke back, getting me a better card every turn. And then at the start of my turn I just fish, you know, take Luke back because I know he's at the bottom of my deck. He's going to pay to drain. He's going to pay to drain. Well, 
I don't need my 3PO puller. So I can throw that one away. Let's see if he pays. He'll probably pay to train again. Yep. Uh, as much as I like rapid fire, I think that's the card I can I don't have any Jedi, so I'm not worried about that. Maybe putting a key character out of play would be fun, but not not going to be a game-breaking decision. Image of the Dark Lord would slow me down a little bit. So, yeah, there it is. Ah. draw a bunch. So now he's back up to 11 cards. So he takes that last one and goes to 12. Now he left one for a possible grabber. Alright, so I've got 14. And not really much to do with any of it. See if we can figure out my power harpoons in there. One, two, three ships are in there. Zeph and Rogue, uh, I can match for Rogue too if I needed it, but there's nowhere else to put it. Haven's still in there. I think we'll do that. So we're not going to pay to drain for one this turn. Dude, just pass. There we go. Uh, take an effect into hand from reserve deck. We'll pay three and grab Haven. I'm not going to force drain this turn. activate pass control put my 3PO down in my war room and there's two cool things like I said before I can put Luke back because I can just pull him back into hand with Echo Base Garrison next turn I can also do the same thing with my system because a uh, new secret base will take it into hand so I can put one down and do the same thing. Uh, so be careful because I use some force first. So he's actually not at the bottom. He's a little further down. Honor probably not going to help much this game. I think we're going to put Luke in space. guy in a ship right now. Oh, I screwed that up. wasn't even thinking. Could have used Haven first. Save two fours. Draw more cards. No, we'll save it now. I won't put it down just in case. 
Let's see, even the best of us screw up sometimes. Or the middle of us screw up sometimes. A lot of things going on simultaneously, especially when you're trying to talk into a stream, and you end up babbling away. That one deploys as a React. So that's good, that'll cost me two. I'll draw one more card, there's Commander Nara. And I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna leave those three, because I've got the rapid fire. And that lets me play a weapon on a vehicle or starship from my reserve deck. So I've got a power harpoon, in case he comes down with like Blizzard 4 or something. And I've got an X-Wing cannon, in case he comes down with like Zuckus. He's going to pay three and drain. The top deck of card barrier. I can live without that. Uh, what else we got? Will he drain a second? So what I'm not sure of is, you know, obviously when at some point in time he's got to come try and attack me. Because if we're just going to set up and just outrace each other, then I think I'm going to pull ahead. I've got a couple more cards on the table than he does. Looking at life counts, I'm at 26 down. He's at 32, plus he's got an extra card in hand. So he's got a slight advantage on me. But he's paying to drain, and right now I am not. Oh, so there you go. He dropped four alarm. Uh, that's the virtual four alarm. So now he'll start cycling cards back from hand. Uh, uh, and there's P59 to the audience chamber. So that tells me one of two things. Either he has no intention of ever trying to shoot my speeder, or there's going to be an Ellis Hellrock coming up in uh, a little while. Which is pretty standard for a deck like this. He wants to back up. Yeah. I think maybe he might have decided that uh, he just might need that Ellis or that P fifty nine. Oh, he's gonna get the bridge out instead. Still going to put P59 over there. Okay, so I guess we're going to see an Ellis later. But uh, keep your eyes open. I'll definitely prevent him from shooting me. Uh, he'll probably start tracking back a High Destiny with Forlom, probably a uh, Phantom Menace or something. So even if I did subtract one from it, it would still be a hit. But if I can keep your eyes open and just prevent weapons from being used at all, then I don't have to worry about it. He just deployed P59 and Forlom this turn. No cards with ability. I was going to pull weapons display so I could retrieve a force, but that actually will not work. Oh, ah, forgot to use uh, 3PO during his draw phase. It's part of the downside to auto pass. Sometimes you miss stuff like that. It's okay. It's one card. Hopefully it's not the end of the world. Alright, so we'll take Luke. Since I knew where he was. And I was going to activate past him. Uh, he'd have been... I'd had to stop during my activate phase and interrupt it. I could have activated most of the cards. I would have had to stop uh, like two short. Because of uh, top decking some cards. 
cards earlier. And now we'll take all 14. Uh, this time we'll do it right. We'll use 3PO. Put a card back. Draw a much better card. Let's activate control will drain for one. Top decks the hound's tooth. There goes the ship. We like seeing ships go away. Control phase, use one force to get a speeder. I'm going to be looking for Rogue 2 just to get it out of my deck. More importantly, at least it'll let me know if my destinies are good. Hey, Rogue 2 is in there. So when I take that out, Destiny's okay. Red Leader, Goal Leader aren't great. Power Harpoon will still be in there. BB-8 is still in there. Rebel Artillery and Jin. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab Rogue 2. This time we're going to put Haven down. Defensive shield. How about oh, that's a good one. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna wanna use half the shields I've got anyway, so we'll grab weapons display. I mean he's never gonna play the stunning leaders or anything, but now I just have a whole pile of force. So I was worried about him potentially using Ellis to move guys over. So spend a little bit more force. I don't want to draw all those cards. Draw a tough card of reserve deck. Sure, that sounds fun. BB-8. Add a battle round site and present with resistance character, they lose one force. I don't really see that happening anytime soon. I don't see any of these cards being useful. So I think we're just going to draw a few. another ship or two. That's a card I don't need. There's the ship. That could come in handy. Okay. that just to get it out of my hand and he sees a couple of twos a five and a seven
So he's going to cycle a card back. I'm going to do the same thing, and then I'll put Luke down on the bottom. So now he's down there with my system. i got the Power Harpoon, so I've got three twos and a seven on top of my deck. Not the ideal situation for battling. Or trying to shoot anything with a... Of course, if we do that, we're going to shuffle stuff around. Again, we're still ahead on board position here. He's paying to drain. I'm not. Uh, I don't need honor. He's going to pay and drain over there. Excuse me. I apologize for that. He's just going to be content just to keep... He's doing two, I'm doing two, he's doing two, I'm doing two. But that is not going to last much longer. I'm going to pull my second system now. find out what kind of ships he's got. He's got to have at least something by now. I think this is just a game where neither one of us is really in a rush to do anything. We're not really interacting with each other. I can't go to his interior sites. He certainly isn't going to come, you know, wild dip against my entrenched speeders. And he's not running too many ships in his deck, so if he's he already lost one of them, so if he's looking heavily to try and find the others. turn because like I said we're just going to deploy to the second system uh, he's got 21 17 in hand is 38 cards I've got 16 14 in hand is 30. So he's ahead by 8. So yeah, so if we just keep trading two cards a turn with each other, then I'm going to lose. And it's good to him to recognize that and realize he doesn't have to press the issue. He's, uh, you know, we're, we're doing the same damage and he's ahead. It's up to me to change the game state somehow. And uh, now that I finally found a couple of ships, that's what I can go ahead and do. He throws away an EPP Maul and a Maul Strikes. Uh, EPP Maul is not going to do a whole lot, and Maul Strikes definitely isn't because there's no Jedi in this deck. Um, he might think there's like an EPP Qui-Gon or something in here, but 
That's why he's got this situated the way he does. Drop our system. Drop our Han Shui Falcon. Virtual. Virtual Han Shui Falcon. And because I can, we're going to drop OB over there. with Captain Hera as a pilot. That thing can hold one pilot, so let's use her. That was a pretty productive turn. Two solid space drains, solid ground drain, Bakta tank, and just in case, we'll go ahead and play uh, Wise Advice. Got plenty of shield pulls, I don't really seem to need them this game. Basically activate down to whatever he's been cycling back with four long, which is kind of scary because it's probably Phantom Menace or two. A second copy of I Am Your Father, maybe an Emperor or something. So he's probably got a couple of really good destiny put together at this point in time. ability less than five on R2 and Red 5, so Commander Luke does deploy for free aboard, which is what he did earlier. So if he does go here, I can throw Luke in the box to tank, pay four, take him back into hand, redeploy him for free. just swapped, so that's got to be something space related. I can't imagine what else he'd be getting at this point. I don't think he's got any more battleground sites. So I can't imagine what else he'd possibly be taking at this point. not going to drain me this turn. Which definitely means he's coming to fight. It's just going to be a matter of where. I would guess Hoth. With Zuckus. Oh, Slave 1. With Bosco. Two of them together don't do much. Just a ship and some power. I'm sure he's got a buddy. Vader's custom tie with Lord Vader. Now I have to read the tie because I know. Cancel game text of opponent's pilot aboard a starfighter here. So we can 
cancel the game text of a pilot. So we can cancel Luke's game text. So Luke wouldn't add three. Three one five seven. Three one five seven. I'm guessing he's got an I have you now. Not much I can do about that, but Boss doesn't draw by himself. Oh, there's first strike. That's going to suck. Play that now to activate one. Things only maneuver three. Forfeits for seven. Ah, I hate when I do that. Sorry. Look forfeits for seven. And that thing goes for, I think, three more. So that would cover ten. It's probably not good enough. If he's got the I have you now. I have to lose a force. I am probably not going to play the Power Harpoon this game. Alright. We're going to rapid fire. And we're going to deploy the weapon from reserve deck. He's going to sense it. Yep. He drew... Uh, that's a double whammy. First off, he draws the 7, so he misses the sense. And secondly, now it means he's not going to draw it for Battle Destiny, which is awesome for me. Greater than three to hit Vader, so if I pay one, I'd have to draw three. One, two, three, four, five. So if he plays the I have you now, he would draw one, three, five, eight. Nine. Yeah, we're going to organize the tack. I think I'd just rather do that. the organized attack. Alright, 
so they're both power plus one. So now we're actually ahead. There's the heavy now. He's going to draw one, three, five. We're going to take a blind shot at Vader. I'm not going to use any force because there's only a one, three in the deck, so. There's lots of twos. Hey, there's a four. That hits. That's very bad for him. Cancel Luke's text to so lower my power. I'm going to need a couple extra. I'm going to need an extra force or two. Put a five back just so. I can activate a little bit further. I'm gonna need to. I am gonna need to forfeit Luke here. Just gonna be down too much power. He's gonna have 20. I'm gonna have like 13 now. Fourteen, fifteen. I almost forgot to click that. Haven's an optional one. Don't forget to do that. Uh, Haven is an optional. May add a battle destiny draw. I think it says May. The gem system will. Require you to actually enforce it. You may add one battle destiny. So he's got one, three, five, nine, nine and twelve is twenty one. So even if I draw two twos, that still gets me to fourteen. Luke covers all my battle damage. Ship stays, Haven stays. I just pick Luke back up off the tank and put him right back down. He already lost the cold feet very early on in the game. I don't think he's going to run two of those. And Bosk is going to get hung out to dry by himself. Spend another force. Starship Lev, take the ship in hand. I'm just replacing, taking twos out of my deck and putting fives back in, which is always nice. Um, the last few cards I've done, I retrieved the Power Harpoon, I drew the Jedi Lev, the organized attack, the rapid fire to get the weapon. So there's a whole bunch of fives that went back into my deck this turn. Now we're drawing for Battle Destiny. That was just crazy. So all my bad destinies are all clumped together, sitting right on top now. And uh, you know, the fairly good ones there. I'm only down a card. And he's just going to go ahead and throw in the towel. Yeah, it wasn't really much he could do at this point. I mean, Vader's going to die. I'm not taking any overflow. And he doesn't have any force left to move away. Bosk doesn't draw by himself. I've got two Battle Destiny plus another ship in hand. Plus, you know, a bunch of fives that I've just stacked and put back together. So, um, really wasn't much he was going to be able to do. I was going to clear that system out. 
possibly cause him some overflow if he doesn't have the gick. And then, you know, continue to get the drains two and one, and then pick up another one here and just outpace him while he's paying the drain uh, after he takes the overflow, plus retrieving the one from first strike as well. Um, so that's going to do it for this quick game here. Actually, not a quick game, that was almost an hour. Um, but for my first time streaming, hopefully this went fairly well and the uh, audio and everything worked out. And I uh, look forward to doing this a lot more often.